the common How do you see the art of hosting can really be also or could help the art of commoning? I see more and more the art of hosting, or never has been for me actually, it is not a definition, it's a practice. And a practice with a purpose of creating places where people can learn together and in that learning field new things can arise and also we can begin to discover each other in our true equality that we are all of the same tribe called the human species and I have a feeling, and I've seen it in other contexts, that uh, the hosting of learning space, whether that is a conference, or that is a seminar, or that is a decision making, or that is an inquiry, uh, it is very hard for groups of people to stay conscious and in the knowing of the deep comments of, of the space in our life condition not as another political idea, which I don't, wouldn't be interested in pursuing. Um, so hosting and harvesting conversations that matter is a way to help groups to become more and more conscious together by learning and creating a container in which even our diversity can be turned to be beautiful and not blow up people's collaboration, blow up comments because uh, we are too narrow-minded. We become too narrow-minded if we just it's on the opinion level. And so uh, I would see it as a beautiful uh, collaboration between whatever the comments that is needed now that is apparently being awoken by the work and you and many other people are doing. Uh, and those of us who are offering ourselves to become uh, skillful and to help inspire anybody else to become skillful in creating meeting, meetings and conversations where what matters is what's happening and where common ground grows rather than uh, seeding wars or seeding animosity, which is, has been ripping the human species apart and now damaging all the rest of the creation in the pursuit of nothing. So, uh, and maybe one, one other thing, you know, there's a you know, powerful acupuncture point is how do we meet and what comes out of it. That is, a huge acupuncture point that we have not really put our finger on for a long, long time. You just assumed anybody who runs a conference, you have keynote speakers and the people are listening, and then, but where's the collective learning and what's the harvest out of that? And how does we, as we meet, become more united and unified by the way we are meeting, not the talking about it? But then there's, of course, always the operating system. So you could say one conversation or an inquiry could be like a program in a computer. But what about the, the OS 8.90? And what I have seen out of hosting when it becomes who we are, you just host space and care for it, and learning and good stuff comes out of it then it can begin to shift operating systems of big you know, institutional ways, but, but simply by shifting how we practice in those structures. And so to me, one of the gifts may be that uh, what, if the, what if the learning village 
it is my name for this pattern, is, can only be brought about by practitioners. And so my, and this is not that I would interview you back, but I'd like to sow a question into the comments the work that, that you are apparently representing at this moment, in this context. What are the practices of creating comments and how as we be, what are the practices that allow us to be good, healthy and useful and creative commoners? From the notion that practice, what we practice is what the future will be. It is not just what we think and what we would like to have. So the another even as powerful acupuncture point besides how we meet is what are we practicing in our lives every day. Are we practicing peace? Are we practicing kindness? Are we practicing being conscious citizens or commoners or whatever you would like to call it? Or are we practicing deceit and fear and you know, uh, greed, and all those things that just rip us apart? Or are we practicing this beauty? And so there's, and I've seen it in other cases, like the natural step movement are also seeking, we are beginning to find each other. And for sure, whatever is the gifts of the common, practice unfolding what is a gift that you could offer people who practice this because I think we all just come into a place where we're learning how to to live as human beings and not to live as shadows of human beings Thank <laughs> you.